Hey everybody, welcome to another One Minute Wednesday. Today, we're going to be talking about creating something by yourself. So, you're thinking of starting something by yourself. Maybe it's learning something new, like learning how to create music, produce music, or starting a business, something like that. But it's not taught in the traditional setting, where you don't have the right resources to go to school and do it. And it's completely doable. And you're thinking about it, and the pros, all the pros outweigh all the cons, and... You genuinely want to do it, but then you get stuck because you're researching about all these things that you need to know, that you need to do, that you need to buy, and you get paralyzed by the fear that of the things that you don't know. And it's scary, right? Because you have things that you don't know, and you have all these things you have to do, and there's a bunch of people who want to do the same things that you do. You get stuck in your tracks, and you wonder, should I really do this? You're getting paralyzed by this amount of work that you have to do. I like the example that Andrew Kirby drew in his channel. He said that if you were at the base of the mountain that takes a hundred steps to get up to the top, you won't get anywhere just thinking about steps two through 99. You have to take the first step and, and figure the way up from there, right? You're not gonna get anywhere just thinking about the next steps. You need to take the step that is right in front of you. Let's say I'm making music. I won't get anywhere if I'm researching this topic and I'm looking up all the things I need to buy, and I'm looking up all the music theory that I need to know, and I suddenly get overwhelmed by this amount of work that I have to do, and the amount of learning and knowledge that I need to gain to master music producing, and then I stop, right? I stop because I'm paralyzed by all this work. Now, if I have just have an app, right? If I just have an app on my phone, and that's the only thing that I have right now, I'm gonna be the best person ever to use that app i'm going to create the best the sickest beats i'm going to create the sickest beats on that app be the best person there on that platform and then i can carry all this knowledge with me from this platform this app to another uh, digital audio workstation and start creating there so here's the lesson just take the first step and figure your way out from there right no one gets it right the first time and if you don't take the first step, then you're just stuck at the beginning. You thought of all these incredible things that you have to do, but you're, if you're not willing to take the first step, then you won't be able to make it to the end. And so that's what I'm doing with this YouTube channel, right? I had no idea how to do YouTube. I still don't know, right? I'm still in that process. I don't think anybody really knows unless you're a seasoned YouTuber. And if you're afraid of people who, that are going to make fun of you, here's the truth. The honest truth is... They don't care. I'm going to introduce you to this topic, the spotlight effect. It basically is that everyone is really self-centered because we're living our own lives. We're the main characters in our own movie. And so our perspective is really self-centered. There's a spotlight, right? We're living our own movies. So many people, especially in university when there are so many people, these people don't really care about what you're doing, right? Unless they stumble upon your content and they like it. But when you're starting out, People don't really care. So just do it. Take the first small step. Learn as you go. That's what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. I'm rooting for you. That's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one.